Good morning from Deca Prime Mandawi. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you a look around Deca and yeah, it's Rackham, Stackham and Packham, but this one's an older one. So you'd be quite surprised as to how some people have fixed up their homes. Uh, and in one case, I will try to get down there. Um, somebody bought three Deca homes side by side by side and uh, knocked out some walls or cut some doors between and they have a huge unit. Okay, let's get to Deca Prime. Okay, this place over here is a laundromat and they also cut um, fabric to make for seat covers and such. Uh, this one here has not had any expanding done to it at all. It's the original home with a simple gate down below. This is Wilbert's. He's added the second and third floor onto here. And so they're getting ready for some, um, what do you call it? A uh, little bit more than bed spacer, right? Okay, and then this one here is quite fancy. Stainless uh, for the gate. Uh, they've got a good sized car they put in there and they put glass on their deck and painted it up quite nicely. Looks quite modern. Uh, here, they've got the whole jungle theme going on. This lady clearly likes her plants. Um, they're not afraid of color. This one here has got the orange paint. And there are a fair number of units in here, guys, that are totally abandoned. They are just falling apart like crazy. So this one here has got a nice paint job and that's just on our street alone. Dealing with cars here, this is, this is the wild card. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, and here's, here's a good example of something that's been abandoned. Uh, it's caught between the two places. This is like out of those, uh, out of those movies in you know, downtown, you know, major city and the old old guy won't sell or something along those lines anyway 2.4 million for what we would consider is to be a tear down brutal this one here is quite fancy looking it's got a rooftop deck and some lights made that quite modern looking parking here is an issue though um, fortunately a good number of people are using the parking down below and parking inside but let's go down and have a look after the motorcycle goes by. Let's go down and have a look at how some of the parking works out here. Here's one corner unit where they put quite the facade on there and looked like, looks like wood tile, but I'm sure that's hardy flex of some type. And anyway, this is, uh, looks like two units on the corner that have, uh, that were probably oversized. Okay. And then look at the traffic here. Now here they've left it open all on one side, but some days we go by here and everybody's parked at a slight angle so they can get an extra car in there. Because, you know, what are you doing? You own a deco home and you've got a big monster truck like that. That's brutal. And again, you know, you're running into these abandoned units in the middle but some people have dressed their homes up really nice in here. This one here is, uh, you know, sometimes the downstairs doesn't look so good, um, but you know, what have they got here? They've got uh, a total of three units. So one, two, three, and then they've dressed it all up quite nice. And this street here, yeah, you see you've got cars on both sides of the street, big monster trucks absolutely brutal they must all be together guys because it there's no way you get out there if you had an emergency you couldn't drive out of there <laughs> now they have some pretty strict rules here so they must have come up to some agreement and uh, yeah this is the row where people park at an angle down here and the way they hold their spots and stuff is they put plants out <laughs> to hold their spot. But this one is completely full. I don't know how they deal with it down there. And of course, there's no 
general parking um, anywhere that uh, you could utilize to, you know, like a, a visitor's parking area. That just doesn't exist. I don't think anywhere in the Philippines. Uh, we were going to upload a video of a fairly high-end community, but guys, it was garbage, and there's no way that I would pay the price. Uh, they wanted 2.5 million for a studio on the sixth floor. The concrete uh, skim coat had already cracked, and uh, yeah, that's just how it was. So somebody's marked the road here for their parking spot, and don't know how that works. Must would have to be part of this white house here. Um, okay, let me take you down to that other one and we will show you the big one. You know, you would think that you would get these things for almost nothing because they've been totally abandoned. But this one again is another one where it's two units. They put a garage on one side with a deck up, uh, but it's totally abandoned now. Brutal. First is this unit, it's all on the corner here. Uh, put a nice uh, car park in there, stone on the front. Looks quite nice, they got a little aviary up top. And then there's this big one here. And you would never figure that that would be in a deck of home. They've got all the glass, which is not legal. <laughs> um, people put it in all over the place and they do sell it, but it's not, uh, we were told very clearly that <laughs> we wanted to put some in it. No, 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 no. Fire code won't allow you. Well, they must be putting it in after the fact. Anyway, there you go. Three air conditioners in there, one split type. And uh, three, three units on a corner. Big, big, big. Uh, similarly, this yellow one. I think what happened was right near the gate where the entry happens, people had thought that, okay, well, we'll let all of the lower end stuff go up to the upper end and we will snag these corner lots for quick exit. And the road is fairly decent getting in and out of here, guys. So there we go. But now I gotta move because I can't even fit between the truck and the wall. There's a lot of these stinking big vehicles here. Holy mackerel. And we've got our little sorry sorry store here. Actually goes quite a ways in there, guys. Okay, that's what a deco home looks like when it's long established. And it is nothing more than a non-stop freeway in here. <laughs> All going 10 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Until they get a chance to go fast, and they just do. That's just how it is in the Philippines. Later, Gators. Gators.